Look at all of these Super Duties, 2024s. We got three rows of them, as far as you can see. I'm in my 23 F350 Red Line Everest Edition that sadly is now for sale. But the point of this video is to showcase because this truck right here, this Everest Edition I'm reviewing today, I'm going side by side. It's on the four inch ready lift kit with Falcon shocks. I'm on the five inch BDS kit with Performance Elite shocks. And I've been wanting to drive, put some miles on this uh, Everest here with this kit in particular because it's new. And I don't know how the shocks, new radius arms and dual stabilizer from Falcon really perform. But biggest thing is I'm impressed with it so far, but this truck feels driving it taller than this one. And again, five inch BDS Performance Elite shocks, non-coilover, I think it's too much, but coil spring shot with the Resi, radius arm, 3824, 3822 here. So this truck feels taller. Let's look here side by side. We're seeing it live just like I am. It looks identical. I mean, we're on a level area here. This part of the lot is level. Uh, a not level stock truck, front side heavy. We take it ever tradition style, so four inches are taller. So four inch, five inch. Look at the mirrors. I mean, they look identical height. I look, I'm looking here as far as the plane. And I mean, yeah, I, I, I actually do see a little bit higher height, just ever so slightly, maybe not even an inch taller on this one. So it is true, but for some reason, this truck here, four inch lifted again 38s and 22s versus five inch lifted 38 and 24s this truck feels taller driving i just i swear it does the shocks i've been actually pretty impressed with i thought they were going to be uh really soft they actually have a good a little bit tighter feel to it very similar to the fox in my opinion maybe even a little bit um, more even so than the bill stein so this is a good shock to me because it really improves some of the handling characteristics while also giving you more off-road control, uh, rebound and preload both, and then just being not too soft. I don't like it to be too soft to where I feel spongy, no spongy feeling at all here. But here we go, y'all. 24 Aikens Ford F250 Lariat Everest Edition. Again, four inch ready lift lifted with Falcon shocks, radius arms, dual steering stabilizer, and look at the fuel fusion forge brawl. Matte black spokes, gloss black lip. Love this new technology. Premium quality and integrity without, without the true forged wheel price. And we're on 38, 13 and a half, 22 ridge grappers, the 13 and a half on the 22 by 10, negative 18. Yeah, I love it. So look, we're going negative 18. We could have done this is a wheel with the offset that's in that range of where you want to go Everest Edition style. You can run a two and a half and run 37s with this and it worked with a lot of trimming. So even here, I mean, no, no trimming y'all. We did do a trimmer valence, of course. You know, we don't like that long pesky front end uh, valence there. So opt for doing our own little trimmer rendition there. Good look at the stabilizer. But at 22 by 10, negative 18 that's a pretty aggressive on the mild to wild scale more a little bit past the mid-level range as you can see it's a nice wide width stance on 13 and a half wides jump right next door to a 24 by 11 zero and i th i mean this has got more offset this has got more stance here we're in that four four and a half inch range five inch range a little bit more tucked in slightly over here so the equation of the wheel and tire combo is like what i'm about it's what i love to uh, dissect and get right because it may, means something to get it right for us and, and everyone so going this tall allows us to still run 38s i mean most places would say oh no you gotta run 37s oh you gotta be more like a zero plus one negative one but no no 22 by 10 negative 18 on the offset is a nice stance i love the 10 wide on a 13 and a half wide a good setup too for a balanced out truck now don't go you know six inches don't have to go six inches because this is plenty of uh, void or lack thereof in between top tire wheel well this is my money shot you know it right here 
Look at this, black on black, fusion fours wheel, got a little bit of matte, a little bit of gloss to tie in. We didn't paint everything, We're trying to do budget build, budget Everest edition, it's still pricey just because of the components, y'all. But look, boom, got loot, rolling lock, XT, got the trough for above bed options, powered to go along with it, Everest edition. Oh, it's getting so popular, it means so much to see the Everest right there, that's huge. You know how, what, like, like, like the dreams come true when you create, you know, like the own package and it's just doing well. Like it's, it's truly amazing and special what we've got going on here, as I mentioned. But again, four inch lifted on 38s and 22s, 22 by 10 native 18. Over here, this bad boy and this bad boy. Oh, I'm going to miss this truck. I'm going to miss this truck, but it's available. You want to buy it? Hit your boy up uh, on all the social media avenues or in the comment below. Let me know. Send me your info. I'll let you know about this one. It's going to go bye-bye. It's time for something else. Real Deal's got to flip. I'm thinking Black Limited, what I'm thinking. Maybe Covert this time. I don't know. I like I like this tall stance and setup. Ridge Grapper, Hybrid Tire versus Trail Grapper, Mud Terrain Tire. No paint, obviously. Lots of paint in every way. Rigid Lights, Bed Step Delete versus No Bed Step Delete. Both have power boards. Side badge painted versus non-painted. Little lip versus concaveness, sway bar, BDS versus Falcon ready lift. No paint, but still so many ways to take this truck. Would love to see some paint there, emblems to go along with it. So many ways to take it next level. That's what it's about, you know? Like, if you want to roll with real deal, we're going to live custom, y'all. We're going to be special because everyone is here with a great purpose. And we can be in harmony with everyone because, like, Life to me, what builds me up is, is the relationships and the connections and the people I get to talk to every single day. That's what like, um, I just thrive in and it's like my God gave me a purpose to connect and be good at talking with people and enjoying it and the transactional part of it. Not just the, this is not promotion, this is life y'all and, and life's telling me this one's got to go, it's time for something else. So this one's for sale, this one is too y'all. It is the third, gosh it's the third of April. My boy's going to be 17 this year i cannot believe it y'all truly special but again we'll get this one out of the way the focus is here amp research power boards on this one because it had uh, a fixed board had to go bye bye so 38 ever sedition feeling great 38 years old gone too soon bmc lights versus the standard fogs hey when i turn 40 this year i'm gonna have to roll with 40s on something so just know that's coming to you too oh uh, but this truck, uh, this is our third ready lift kit in the four inch realm that we've done so far. And I've been uh, impressed with it. So probably gonna run this on my next truck. Uh, maybe a Carly, I don't, I don't know. I just, I wanna try them all, but this one's, I'm liking it. I'm really digging it overall. Before we end, we'll jump in here. This, this, uh, this video is sponsored by Mountain Dew. Zero, not really, but I love it y'all. Big water drinker now, but that's kind of my, yeah, I still got to have me that every now and then. Beautiful truck, great amenities, creature comfort, safety, power. You know what's up. Truck is unbelievable. I love owning one myself. Pause here for winter sticker info. REC 60848 is going to the lot. I'm about to head to my son's baseball game. So take off for watching. Really do appreciate you. We're catching you tomorrow because we're not stopping. Peace out.